Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So just a few days ago, one of our Happy Fam channel members, Jen Marie, thanks, sent us this clip of someone I'd never heard of before. What caught my eye immediately was the title down below, Stop Eating Plants. Like, oh really? This ought to be good. So as I watched it, I learned it was made by this quite famous social media YouTuber personality, Bobby Parrish. He has over 3 million subscribers, so people listen to what he says. So let's watch this video to together and I'll try to give my honest objective review, give kudos where kudos may be due, and report on, on any misinformation or just factual inaccuracies in this video about why we should stop eating plants. Ground beef made of canola oil and natural flavors. Hot dogs made of soy protein and soybean oil. So basically his whole video is him standing here at the market going through the frozen plant-based meat aisle and trying to find ingredients in these plant-based meat offerings, ingredients that he has issues with. And a lot of people are afraid of oils and we'll get to more oil discussion in a bit here, but here he's harping on soy protein, really. I didn't know soy protein was something to be concerned about, like it's unhealthful or really bad for you. So one thing I do very often here on this channel when trying to evaluate health claims made by people is to try to find objective, evidence-based, non-vegan activist sources of information. And Cleveland Clinic is one I return to often. And they really have nothing negative to say about soy foods. In fact, they list a whole ton of benefits, particularly heart health-based benefits for eating soy. And um, let's take a look at the list of negatives. Oh, wait, they don't have any lists of negatives. And same with WebMD, another source I return to very often. And once again, they only discuss the benefits of soy protein isolate here. And again, there are no negatives to soy proteins. So basically, Bobby Parrish's attempt here to demonize soy protein as this horrible, unhealthy ingredient found in many plant foods is unsubstantiated. And we'll talk more about Bobby's problem with soy later on in this video. Bacon made of soy protein, carrageenan, and vegetable oil. Chicken nuggets made of soy protein, sunflower oil, canola oil. Yes, more of that horrible, health deteriorating soy protein. And Beyond Beef made of canola oil and natural flavors. Come on, Kim, I wouldn't even take a bite just like you didn't either. So let me get this right. Bobby Parrish is totally cool. Absolutely fine eating a burger made out of a once living animal, a sentient being who didn't want to die for Bobby Parrish or any other human, an animal who was exploited, raised for slaughter. That's totally okay. But eating a burger that might have an oil or two in it that he doesn't like, he won't even touch that. That's totally off limits. Oh, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Listen, there's a right way and a wrong way to do plant based. When you start replacing meat with soy protein, canola oil, natural flavors, emulsifiers, first of all, it's not plants. It's it's highly engineered, but all of these oils and soy are highly inflammatory. All right, he said quite a lot there, a lot to unpack, and I will agree with him that, yeah, it's, there's better ways to eat a, a vegan or plant-based diet than others, and I myself prefer to have fewer of these like highly processed foods that you know, he's bagging on here, even though I don't have uh, issues with them. I'll have them from time to time, but they're, they're not the basis of our diets, and this is what I want to like emphasize where he got wrong here. He seems to be asserting or implying that when you go vegan, these plant-based meats automatically be become like the foundations of your diet. Like you substitute dead animal burgers with these plant-based burgers. And yeah, some people do, but that's not how we roll. And that's how not how most vegans I know pursue their, their plant-based and vegan diets as well. But all of these oils and soy are highly inflammatory. So finally, in that quick little statement there, he says why he's so anti-soy and anti-oils in general. It's because as he said there, they are highly inflammatory. Again, this is something we can fact check. This is not something that we just speculate and wonder about. There's actual studies and information out there. So let's see how inflammatory soy and oils in general really are. So first of all, let's have a look at this Chinese study, which makes sense since a lot of soy is consumed in China, historically has been, and they measured their inflammatory markers in the subjects. And as we see in the conclusion, inflammatory markers did not increase with increased soy consumption. In fact, inflammatory markers went down with more soy consumed. 
And here in this article on fighting inflammation and joint pain put out by Maryland Surgery Center, I've not heard of them, but it's, again, seems like a very non-vegan activist source of information. And one of the foods they list here to consume if you want to fight inflammation is soy. And they have no problem as well with consuming soy protein. But remember, it's not just soy and soy protein that Bobby Parrish is so concerned about affecting our inflammation in a negative way. He's concerned about all plant oils. That's why he's pointing all these oils out in these you know, vegan burgers and, and hot dogs and stuff. So let's see if plant oils are themselves inherently inflammatory. And here's a recent 2017 study that looked into this matter. So this meta-analysis compared the intake of linoleic acid, which is a polyunsaturated acid found mostly in plant oils, and compared that to markers of inf inflammation and this meta-analysis found that even in pretty high doses of, of linoleic acid intake that linoleic acid intake has a very non-significant impact in raising inflammatory markers so so much for this fear that bobby parish has of plant oils this big demonizing food ingredient that raises your inflammatory markers and here's what just gets me off about people like him putting out this this really just shaky misinformation here about why we shouldn't eat plants because he conveniently ignores other foods that he consumes that raise inflammation. If you go back to the Cleveland Clinic website here and this article about foods that increase inflammation, red and processed meats are on this list. Funny how he doesn't mention that. Yeah, demonizes plant oils, makes you scared to death. They even have like soy protein. And but yeah, red meat and processed meat get a free pass, or at least red meat does, right? You tell me, Bobby. More importantly, you think you're doing good for the environment by eating plants? Well, yes, it's a well-established fact. This is not beyond dispute that plant-based diets have a, a far better impact on our environment. And again, who are you going to believe? A, a home YouTube food chef or like, say, an entity like the United Nations who's done a lot of research into this matter. They've actually made a list of the most climate-friendly diets. And number one, vegan. Number two, vegetarian. And the reasons for this are just way too much for me to cover in a video like this, but let me give you a little flavor here in case you're new to understanding what's up with animal agriculture. Animal agriculture is the number one source of greenhouse gas emissions, more than all of transportation combined. Again, I'm just not making this up. This data comes from the United Nations. Furthermore, over 90% of the Amazon rainforest destruction can be attributed to animal agriculture. Clear cutting forest to either let cattle roam on the land or to plant feed crops for cattle. Soy is one of the worst crops out there. It's a monocrop. It has to be replanted every year. It's devastating for the soil and it's usually GMO. All right, so first he's saying eating plants isn't going to be any better for the environment, and he's clearly wrong about that, but his prime target here is for why he believes, as he does, is soy, which I find completely ironic and humorous because he's assuming that we're all eating tons of soy here, humans and particularly vegans and vegetarians, and nothing could be further from the truth. So far from all us vegans consuming all the soy, just the most basic, simple fact checking reveals nothing to be further from the truth. Over three fourths of soy produced on this planet goes to feed not humans or vegans, it goes to feed livestock. And the, whatever's left over that 20 odd percent, only 7% reaches human mouths in the form of food, like say tofu or edamame. So if Bobby Parrish is truly concerned about reducing the amount of soy and monocrops on this planet, go vegan. Simple as that. You want a plant-based burger? Get a veggie burger. You want a plant-based burrito? Swap out the meat for vegetables. Stop eating bad plant-based because it's bad for you and horrible for the environment. Well, on this point, I kind of sort of agree with Bobby Parrish in the sense that I myself prefer to have more whole food plants than processed, highly processed foods. So yeah, if I'm at the store and I want to find a veggie burger, yeah, I'll try to find a more veggie burger than rather than something that has a bunch of ingredients. I don't need it to look or smell or feel like meat or anything like that. I'm perfectly fine with like a, a bean patty or something like that. So I kind of agree with Bobby there, but not for his reasons. I'm not deathly afraid of oil oils or soy protein, all this stuff causing inflammation. What I would be concerned about if I were in Bobby's shoes is that, yeah, red meat does cause inflammation. Red meat has dietary cholesterol, typically higher in saturated fat, and has heme iron, things that we really don't have to be too concerned about as vegans. Yeah, you, there is a, a vegan 
heme iron in impossible burgers that's the only food that has it and vegan oils can be high in saturated fat particularly coconut oil which i tend to avoid but let's get back to why people like myself are vegan. I didn't go vegan to try to attain the most wonderful, perfect, glorious health in the world, even though I do have excellent health for my age at age 54. Oops, I hit the mic. And if you want to see my blood test videos, which I've been releasing here for about like nine years on YouTube, who else has been doing that continuously the whole time they've been on YouTube? You can check them out here. But the reason why people like myself are vegan is because we are against animal exploitation and cruelty that's absolutely unnecessary to kill animals to to eat to be alive and to be healthy if that were not true my blood test would be wrecked 11 years vegan here i should be like you know super sick and barely able to like get out of bed which is far from the case i'm very athletic for my age so veganism is not a diet it's a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as possible and practicable all forms of cruelty and exploitation animals. That's what veganism is. It's a moral stance against animal cruelty. It's not a diet. If you want to be vegan and pursue it in a very unhealthy way, totally fine. You know, I mean, that's your choice if you want to be unhealthy and, or if you don't care about your health. I happen to care about my health and eat pretty darn healthy. And again, if Bobby Parrish wants to analyze my blood tests and tell me otherwise, feel free. But you know what? He's not a medical doctor. He's not a dietitian, And that's why you should take his advice with a few grains of salt. In fact, I'm not the first person to point out that Bobby is a spreader of misinformation, as I've shown here. Which brings me to the point, like, yeah, don't trust YouTubers. Don't, don't just take my word as being the ultimate final truth. Notice how when I presented information here, I presented support for what I was saying. I showed the positions of health organizations that are, who have reputations at stake. So if they're wrong, their reputation is at stake. So don't just trust one guy or, you know, two guys on in a Facebook group. Look at credible health organizations and see what their positions are and what they recommend. So anyway, guys, that's it for now. This video is getting quite long. I thought it was going to be like a five or six minute video, and here we are pretty long into this. So anyway, leave your questions and comments down below. Hit like, subscribe, and if you want to be like Jen Marie, who suggested this video, join our channel. It's, it's, it's a new thing for us, the channel membership thing. It's right up by the subscribe button. Hit the join button, and we have three levels of membership with different perks and rewards. Just, just feel free to get whichever one you want, and we are Already are putting out special videos and and special content for you guys so until next time let's remain happy healthy and vegan